back where it all began. Ariane Titmus is in her hometown of Launceston teaching the next generation how it's done. It feels a bit weird to be back um, because nothing's changed. Launceston's very much the same place it was when I lived here. This is the pool where the 21-year-old first found her stroke before moving to Brisbane six years ago. Especially in freestyle when you're at the front of your stroke and pulling through, you want to have a really high elbow. The student turned master is now giving hope to juniors to follow in her footsteps. How does it feel to be here today? Um, just extraordinary. I aspire to be like Ariane because I'm a distance swimmer, so it's like a really special opportunity for me. I would really like to go far in my swimming. Um, I'd like to go to the Olympics, hopefully one day. I love to swim. I swim about five to, five to eight times a week. This is the first time Tipmas has been back in Tasmania since she won two gold, a silver and a bronze at the recent Tokyo Olympics. We're absolutely thrilled um, just for Ariane to give up her time to come back to grassroots swimming in Tasmania, uh, just to inspire the children. Uh, who else to learn from but an Olympic champion? I tried to tell them the simple things in freestyle that are really important that I feel that have helped me get better as a swimmer, so hopefully they take all the advice on board. The hometown celebrations will continue all week. On Friday, Titmus will be presented with a key to the city of Launceston. While it's only a symbolic gesture, it's an honour awarded to only few. She'll join the likes of Richie Port and Daniel Gill, becoming the sixth Tasmanian and the first woman to receive a key. The 50 metre competition pool at the Launceston Aquatic Centre will also soon be renamed in her honour and the local council will establish an annual Ariane Tipmas swimming scholarship. It's very humbling that Launceston and Tassie still claim me and I mean I'm born and bred here and I had a great childhood in Launceston so I feel uh, really grateful to be honoured in that way. A young Tasmanian proving dreams can come true. Monika Champ, ABC News.